Go, go. Alright, I'm back. Could you shoot the thing? Thank you. Clear. There, finally. I hate it when the enemies glitch like that. Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep drawing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Okie dokie, whatever. There's a few little side quests to do in here, so let's go do them. And then we'll head to the hot labs. Anything? No. Certain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Hmm. Uh. I don't think I really want any of that. I could sell stuff though, probably. I can definitely sell that. That was Garrus' old thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the rest of that. Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'll talk to you later. 
Remember to report any suspicious noises. What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. Yeah, that's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditation. Um, I gotta go this way. Is it this way? No. Not this way. Come on. Why do you load every 30 seconds? What, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries governments. They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis's guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? 
I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, so we need to talk to what's his name again, I guess. Get access to the quarantine area. So let's go do that right now. This way, I guess. By the way, you need to be doing these quests before you go to the hot labs, because when you come back from that, these people won't be here anymore, so... If you want to get these quests done, you have to do it now. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guts. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. All right, that was easy enough. And the labs are this way. And of course it takes an elevator to get them. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll... Uh, yeah, y you just have to. Oh, come on! <sighs> Seriously?
Here we go. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. <laughs> crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Ooh. Secret way. Alright, let me in here. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Time to loot. Assuming there's anything to loot in here. Out of the way, Liara. Nothing. I think that's about it. So let's do this. No, how do I get out of here? Oh, whatever. Just gotta get it in between the little triangles. Done. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Ambush. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Take him out!
No, that was all kinds of pain for them. Uh, what'd they give us? Kogan armor. I guess I should do some inventory stuff since it's been a little while. Yeah, I didn't think any of this was gonna be worth worrying about. Okay. Uh, this is any good, looks like. I think we can level up. Oh wow, six points. I've missed a few levels apparently. Let's uh go ahead and put these in here. And I'll put a point in first aid. even though I'm not going to really work on that too much. Liara has first aid. I guess I could get her some, but I'm going to max out her electronics first. Max out your sniper. Oh, and of course Man, the card's like dead. Doctor killed the guard. They came out of there. You mean the get... the inorganics the Asari had with her? Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Alright, so we can go back to the doctor and maybe ask for a pass into the maintenance. Even though we're probably not going to uh, use it just yet because we're going to go back to the hot labs first.
Okay, so where's the doctor's place? Over this way? Is that the cure? You did it? That a sorry scientist, the one in the mess hall? She just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Hooray! Thanks for giving us a zero medigel. <laughs> it's probably because we're full, but whatever. Um... Okay, I think we can go to the hot labs now. You can either go to the hot labs or the maintenance area to the other place. It doesn't matter, either, either order. You'll have to go to both to complete the areas, but I like to go to the hot labs first. See if we can tell him anything. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. I've got work to do. You and me both. Bye. Let's see, I can't go that way, right? Nope. Onwards to the hot labs. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait. Is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. 
binary helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away.